the Ape Man Trail Camera. Beefy, got lots of little good features, rock solid. Apart from this DC power supply, which the pin inside just snapped right off. Hey, right, let's get some tools. This is the one I want. It's got four feet. Little thingies that nicely fit into that device. Right, now that I know what I'm looking for, I can go shopping. So I had went on to RS uh, yeah, uk.rs-online.com and they've been a fantastic website. I mean, I've only just ordered once and I had uh, got the wrong part, as I had mentioned. I got that instead of this one, which I actually wanted. So I didn't really know how to use this website. So, um, so I called the lady, or called the company, which was the lady who picked up and she was very kindly saying that, yep, the engineer had looked at my order and also this wasn't very clear because I wasn't sure which actual item I was going to get in this picture. Um, it's only until I sort of dug around a little bit further I saw something called a technical uh, reference where when I click on it and then it tells you exactly the piece that you want, which is this one. And uh, where is it? If I go back, and if I go back to the 
item that I saw initially, I don't know, this, this page is exactly the same, it's just that the stock number is different. So if I click on to the, that particular link, you'll see that that was the item that I actually got. So after a quick conversation on the phone um, to the company, they, they agreed that it wasn't very clear and that they would send one out to me to replace um, the incorrect one uh, for free of charge. So that's very, very nice of them. So I should be expecting to get that tomorrow and I will be able to start putting this thing back in. I'm very looking forward to that. Well, I'll see you then. Okay, I have ordered and got the new part. Where is she? Okay. But this is still not the one I need. Reason why is that doesn't fit. Too small. So, what do I have to do? I have then decided that I get one of these nails which actually fit. Fits into here. Right. And snug. Because this tip is not completely the same diameter as this actual rod itself. So it's a crimp and pinch this top to flatten it out so it would slide in nicely. Then I literally just went to the behind this and I just sort of hammered it in. You can see it. And I can see this the this the actual pin inside. It fits. Nicely, comes out nicely, and the thing doesn't get stuck in there, or in here, but as you see I've cracked this whole casing while doing that, I just forced it through. Now I'll just solder it in and see will it work. Nearly gave up because it was just the soldering bits. Soldering, soldering on and off. And, uh, okay. Soldering is hot. Put that in. Avoid the hot iron. Put that in. Tap on. Oh, damn you. 
things we can find out. Oh. Yeah, let's do this. Oh. Off. On. Hey! Ding, ding, ding. See? Very happy. And it works now. Right, let's now go and try this out. <laughs> 